Welcome back to Norman, Oklahoma, where you are watching the SEC on ESPN. Tailgating festivities ahead of the Sooners against the Green Wave. Third time they've met in the last decade. He's touched at every play so far. Play seven coming up. Arnold fires complete to Burks, a first down. Deion Burks already six. One receiver this year has been healthy and consistent. Middle of the field opened up, easy slant there, top top. So big third down here, Oklahoma with a nice drive to start the game. Arnold's pass is caught at the 20 yard line by Barnes, another Sooner first down. But again, the green wave allowed to substitute and they sent a couple guys on really late on that particular play. Arnold from the pocket throws into the end zone and it is, it's a touchdown, what a catch. He did not try to get back in bounds immediately it looked like. No. Steps out there. To come back and reestablish in the end zone. Tough to tell that look. Boy, I, I thought he did just looking at that replay there. Maybe this is a better angle here to see if uh, he's back in. It is close. His foot looks like his toe is in the end zone. And again, going with tempo, trying to catch Tulane off guard. The Sooners don't substitute. High snap, and Arnold in trouble gets past one man and into the end zone for the touchdown. And Arnold some success. Big conversion to Deion Burks and a high snap, but it's Arnold in the end zone, and the Sooners. Up. Kearney, Zion Reagans will call their names a lot today. A ton of running room. Wide open is Arnold. Tons of running room. And now a flag as Billy Despaney came in, was thrown immediately. It's a really good read by Jackson Arnold. Backside defensive end goes down, wide open. Takeaways defense has not been the problem through two weeks. And this is an excellent punt. Racing backwards is Bowen. He fields it on the 20 and muffs it. Now scoops it up. He's past the 30 yard line and all the way to the 40. Class nationally, according to ESPN 300. And he catches it out of the backfield and into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Just get frozen. Man to man coverage. No one identifies Tatum out of the backfield in time. Gets to the flats open. And Taylor Tatum with a lot of green grass out in front. Get him the ball out in space and good things happen. I like the play design, creating that matchup on the linebacker and an easy toss for a touchdown. ASU being 3 0. He was on the call for that against Texas State. Good game on Thursday. A lot of people. We're wondering about Jackson Arnold, and he is putting his critics to sleep today as he runs to the 20 yard line, a gain of 50. He's already got a rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown in the first half. As coming off the edge, no one there. Michael runs, comes inside the corner, gets caught inside, and it's a foot race. Nearing four minutes to play till halftime. 14 0. Arnold again with the keep. Arnold down to the one. Here's Tatum pulling his way forward. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Beaver now is a runner, and it's 20 to nothing. Inside, just continued good push. Hat on a hat. They talked about being able to sustain. Mensa facing pressure, steps up and finds an open receiver. Bryce Bohannon, not sure if he didn't know where he was on the field. Second and goal on the seven. Thompson being chased, throws him to the back of the end zone, and what a catch! Touchdown, Reggie Brown. A huge score for Tulane here at the end of the half. Reggie Brown 
does an excellent job in the back of the end zone, high pointing this football. And Ty Thompson typically coming in as a runner. Will play action, put it in his hands as he moves to the right, just over the hands of Billy Bowman. And what a catch in the back of the end zone by Reggie Brown. We kind of felt that was a, a gotta have it score. I'm sure John Summerall felt the same way. Uh, you're, you're back in the game. And when Dylan Gabriel left and decided to transfer to Oregon, the Sooners figured they were in good hands, and they still might be, as Arnold pump fakes and runs and gets the first down and more. Rushing yards after going for 17 there. Tulane bringing pressure. And off the right side, space opens up one on one at the Tulane eight yard line. Arnold instead looking the other way, hit in the backfield and sacked by Patrick Jenkins. First time we've called his name. Tulane able to get to Jackson Arnold. And the field goal from Keltner is true, and that extends the lead in the first half, but they have had some tackles for a loss on the other side. Play action, Mensa setting up, and great catch made by Yule Keith Brown. And a little trickeration here, the pitch to Fleming, and he's got running room inside the 20. Inside the 10 and finally knocked out of bounds. Boy, it looked initially like he may gain nothing. They fake the reverse. Mensa on the boot, finds Hughes. Can he get to the end zone? It's close. He got hit, and he got across. Touchdown, Tulane. He got hit inside the one. Boy, it is going to be very close. Makai Hughes out of the backfield. Get the ball in his hands. Have a great look at it here. That's him in motion. Arnold to throw. Pressure on him, and he sacked. It's Grubbs coming late. Takes down Arnold at the 37, a loss of seven. So an unforced error. First down and 15. Pressure up the middle. Arnold throws a pick. It's intercepted at the 10 by Grubbs, and it's a touchdown. Tulane right back in the game. Arnold got hit, forced that throw. Grubbs jumped it and made a house call. Wow. Yeah, Tulane's been down up the heat. No, it's an inexperienced offensive line. The blitz comes free, the panic from Jackson Arnold, tries to force a ball where it doesn't go. The veteran Tyler Grubb. From down 21 points in the third quarter. We're at the end of the second quarter. Mensa on the roll up, looking, in trouble, spins away, and ball is loose, and it's picked up by Stutzman, but he shoved out of bounds. And obviously Oklahoma facing the SEC gauntlet starting next week at home against Tennessee. Cannot afford to lose at home against the unranked team as the ball is picked off by Billy Bowman on the redirection. Bowman back on his side of the field. Now back in two-lane territory and out of bounds. That got tipped twice and then secured by Bowman for a big pick. Drill for Billy Bowman to take advantage of. Play action, can I walk her? It's the right hand in, creates that pass deflection, balls up in the air. And Billy Bowman, right where he needs to be to get highlighted here in this crucial third down. Saw so, uh, a trick play on second down, a throw back to Arnold. Again, facing pressure, but he breaks the tackle here. He's inside the 10. Arnold into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. That's the Jackson Arnold we saw in the first half. left side of that line. They're going to attack the left side of the line one more time. But you're going to see the blitz gets picked up. Freezer right here, guys. And then this massive hole opens up right here. The vision from Jackson Arnold steps up, runs through, and he's out in the open space. Doesn't just get the third down conversion. He takes it to the end zone to get a little cushion in this ball game. Good adjustments by that front. Nice block also by Taylor Tatum, the true freshman, steps up, picks up that blitzing backer, and allows Jackson Arnold enough space. 
Ends into the air on first down. In trouble and sacked. Our Mason Thomas takes him down for a loss of five on the play. And the young quarterback, Darian Mensah, back to throw. Pressure off the edge. Mensah going to get hit from behind and sack. It's Thomas again. He owned that series for OU. 